Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we're gonna talk about the new DeWalt cordless cleaner slash pressure washer. It's a 20 volt system, uh, model number DCPW550P1. So if you like this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out fresh content. All right, so we just got this yesterday. Um, kind of excited because the reason I ordered this was because it's supposed to be up to 10 times stronger than a garden hose. It's cordless and we can use a bucket of water instead of a garden hose, which on a job site, sometimes that's just the way to go. When we're done with a deck and there's metal shavings on the deck or we've got some ground and dirt on the brand new deck boards, it's really nice to be able to have something to clean it with besides just the regular garden hose pressure. This kit came with a five amp hour battery. It's 550 PSI. So this is by no means a replacement for your gas powered or even a, another electric type pressure washer. But that's not the purpose of this. It's not to replace your pressure washer. This is more of an auxiliary. This is gonna be good for cleaning vehicles and for just doing some everyday tasks. And But mainly what I'm gonna be doing with it is cleaning decks. It comes with three different nozzles, or actually it came with four different nozzles, a 40 degree, a 25 degree, 15 degree and a turbo nozzle and it also came with a soap dispenser it also has a suction hose and it came with a 5 amp hour battery which is kind of nice and a charger so we have plenty of chargers but everything's universal so I'll just keep the charger in my shop and it can take up to a I believe a 12 amp hour flex volt battery which is really sweet um, I'm gonna just go ahead and use this 5 amp hour today and then it's universal with uh, 200 other DeWalt products so uh, that's what I was pretty stoked about we're gonna go through the different nozzles and show you guys how they clean and then we'll kind of go from there um, we'll break down the tool really quick it compacts down a little bit so you can actually remove the head and you can remove the hose and this is what the unit looks like bare, pretty much. At the base of the unit, there's a, a connector, a quick connector with a filter inside of it. So you can always clean that if you get gunk or sludge or something, you, uh, it says in the directions to clean it often. So this is a quick connect. You just pull back on this and you hear it click and you're good to go. Now this is the hose attachment that goes into a bucket of water. So you can actually, there's another connector that you can hook up for a garden hose. So this can go in just like this and you can, you can run this with a garden hose hooked up to your uh, water source on your home or at your business or whatever. But uh, because I'm portable and we're always in a trailer and we're always moving from job site to job site, I thought I'd try working out of the bucket to see how it works. Um, we're gonna pressure wash the old work truck. It's due for its biannual cleaning. So uh, I thought, hey, why not wait till this comes out? And then we'll get into the nozzles here in a second. Once you have your hose connected, you also need to hook up your wand. And that's an easy just push and twist. And I have the turbo nozzle on right now. I find that that's gonna have probably the most effective cleaning power. But on these decals on my truck, you don't wanna use a turbo nozzle because that could take them off. So I'll probably use the 15 degree, but we'll hook each one up and look at the spray pattern and see what it does. First things first, let's just take the turbo nozzle and see if what it does to, let's say this is kind of like worn in moss on this bumper on the truck. All right, here we go. Gotta build up a little bit of pressure because there it goes. I don't know, what do you guys think? I, that was not bad. That's probably the best cleaning you're gonna get. So let's take the turbo nozzle off. And I've got these other three heads. And it's kind of cool, because the heads will all stick in the top of the, of the gun. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one you use. There's these rubber grommets that kind of hold them in place. Now on my big pressure washer, it vibrates so much that these fall out, but that's not gonna happen on this particular pressure washer. Again, the cool thing is it's cordless. You know, it's cordless and it cleans out good, so I'm, I'm already happy. The orange is 15, so that's gonna be the second most powerful. The green is 25 degrees, so that's in the middle, and then 40, we'll start with this. This is gonna be the least, this is gonna push the most water out. This is gonna be more for like, if you wanna shoot water, maybe you put weed killer in this, and you wanna shoot weed killer or something like that, but I don't think this is gonna be a really hardcore spray. This is gonna be more of a gradual. We'll let it. Here it comes. OK, 
okay. I did okay. Did okay, right? If you want to do a little bit more mellow spray and maybe not put so much pressure to something, like maybe you have a, a car that you're washing, but you don't want to damage the paint, maybe the 40 degree would work. I just put the 25 degree, we went from 40, we're gonna to go to 25 degrees, and we're gonna shoot this next. We have a 40 degree fan, a 25 degree fan, and now we're gonna use a 15 degree fan, which is gonna be a little more concentrated and probably have a little bit more power than the other two, but it's also gonna cover less surface area as well. So here we go. Right, not bad not bad but I think really my favorite is this one right here this is the turbo tip and I think this is gonna be the answer uh, especially with such a limited PSI we'll have to do some testing on composites or PVC's maybe I'll grab a scrap really quick and see if I can damage it with this tip I don't think we can but we'll see all right so I'm just gonna finish cleaning this bumper really quick with this tip waiting for the pressure to build up Oh yeah, look at it did to my license plate. Yeah, it tore it up pretty good. So be careful with that. Okay, so we know that tip works pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on the soap head. So I'm gonna take the wand off and here's the soap dispenser. I filled it full of soap. Put that on and let's see what that does. So it's not throwing out a ton of soap, but it's probably enough to wash your car. From there, you know, if you want to wash your car, you could just throw some soap on there and then scrub it down and then uh, use whatever tip you want to clean it with. So uh, again, I probably will use this to wash my work vehicles, but definitely going to use this to clean decks after we're done uh, building. So taking off the soap dispenser, putting back on the turbo wand. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Looks like uh, I give this a thumbs up. I'm looking forward to using this on the job site and for cleaning the work trucks. Uh, should make a little bit quicker work out of it. Hey, if you like what you saw, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.